Oh, I smell meeting. E Rock? What do you got for us today? E Rock. Hello. Hi, E Rock. How was your vacation? It's our own Eric. I heard you had a fine date at uh, SummerSlam with our own Sam. That I did. You went to SummerSlam. 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 I would call it SummerSlam. SummerSlam with Sam. Mm hmm. Yes, it was a lot of fun. Was it? Mm -hmm. Sam? I was SummerSlam with, with E Rock. <laughs> he was great. Yeah. Yeah. If you remember, just before break, we got, what, two tickets to SummerSlam? Yeah. Actually, we got one ticket to SummerSlam. Yeah. Oh, really? And then well, we kind of bitched about it. There was one ticket in an envelope that had already been opened, and then another one put in uh, the pocket, or at, at the house of uh, the staff member who had received the two tickets. Ah. Ah. Two weeks before. Two whole <clears> tickets <throat> after all that promoting we did for uh, we go. WWE. That's wow. good. Wonderful. <laughs> they were good tickets. Yeah, Maybe but, the others were lost in the big fire, uh, the fire in right. the limo. Yeah. Uh, but here's <laughs> the problem. Vince got blown up. Sam, huge wrestling fan. Yeah. Yeah. E-Rock, huge wrestling fan. Yes. What to do. What to do. Yeah. So they had to go together. Yeah, they went together. And I would imagine both were not happy about that, right? It was all right. Yeah, you I two was... aren't the best of friends. Did you, you tap your feet next to each other's <laughs> seats? <laughs> Where'd you guys meet? Tap. Did you guys take a, go together or did you meet there? No, no, no. We met at the seats there. Yeah. Did you travel together? No. Why would they? What a couple of dicks going with <laughs> together. They just meet there. <laughs> you, you met there? Yeah, I was already there. I got there a little early and he was yeah, there. Uh, yeah, that's that's the phone call to E Rock. Ah, E Rock probably called and said, let's go together. And you're like, ah, I, I, uh, I, I, I just happened to be a mile from the stadium. I'll yeah. just meet you there. Yeah. Now, I um, I'm not really. Yeah, I, I don't know a lot of what's going on, mm -hmm. but I do know that a, there was like a big moment. <laughs> yeah, there was at SummerSlam. Yeah, a big uh, advertised moment was uh, Triple H's return. Triple H's return. After so this is like the big moment in SummerSlam. Like eight or nine months. Right. It was like since January. When Muscle ripped off his body that had a heel. <laughs> yeah. There's so, always something like sick happening with him. I'm sure there's music, right? Oh, yeah. The entrance was, the, I mean, the, the entrance music probably up. started and it was like, whoa, like the place goes wild. So when you talk about SummerSlam, this is the big, uh, like we like to say, the big get. This is the oh, reason yeah. to go. This is the, this is going to be the one thing everyone talks about. That Just watching the Grand Slam, this watching like, the knockout, watching the, you know, the, this is the, the part. Like if you uh, go to the message boards and stuff and find out what happened at SummerSlam, this would be the headline, right? Yeah. The crowd went wild. Everybody okay. Went wow. Don't even really remember much of of uh, much else that really went on during SummerSlam. Not even the match, really. Just the fact that nobody had even seen him. He hadn't come out for an interview. Come out, yeah, for nothing. Nothing. Just the big, finally, there he is in person. And there he was. Yeah. Pretty huge. Yeah. It was, I mean, he got a little smaller, but still huge. I mean, he's yeah, a big yeah. guy. He is a big guy. He did his thing where he spits the water and everything. Oh, no. Yeah. Did he? Yep. Sure. Wow. Sure. His big entrance. And E-Rock, what do you think of the whole thing? E-Rock, uh, yeah, we got whole... Sam's take on it, which is great. Yeah, what do you think of the whole Triple H? Yeah, how is wrestling that? for the first time in nine months? Um, I, I was at the top of the stairs, <laughs> being held back by the uh, the guy who checks your ticket for the right section, <laughs> because um, I was getting a pretzel. You were getting two pretzels. <laughs> yeah, and um, you pig. <laughs> And because the lights were off, they wouldn't let anybody walk down the stairs. <laughs> oh, fat boy needed a, a snack at that boy, time. Did you need a little snacky to tide you over? Aw, oh, sweetie, you are two, two of those giant pretzels and a big, and a, guy. And a big with a souvenir uh, cup, big big souvenir with cup the, of soda. You need a wheelbarrow to bring back to your seat. You're like wobbling, <laughs> trying to pull your ticket out with two fingers as the guy's telling you no. Chubby wrestling fan trying to get oh, back down. And there's the big moment where Triple H comes out for the first time. And there he is with a huge soda and two pretzels at the top of the stairs. <laughs> He's trying to clap with a soda under his arm. Like <laughs> By the way, these guys had amazing seats. So, well, uh, that Sam uh, took advantage of. Yeah. I didn't want to, like, I wanted to not come back and make fun of E-Rock at all because, you know, he did some stuff for me and, you know, talked talk to the guys and got the tickets and everything. And then he was gone. He was like, I'm just going to get some food. And I was like, okay. And then, you know, Triple H's opponent came out, and I was like, if, 
<laughs> if he misses, then I have to bring it to somebody. And then Triple H is using it. <laughs> and then he came back to the seat once Triple H was firmly in the ring <laughs> with his two pretzels and jumbo soda. <laughs> I, I come running back. I'm like, I hear the, the other guy come to the ring. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to make it. Triple H's music hits. The guy puts his arm out right in front of me. He says, you have to wait till the lights come on. So I'm standing there peeking from the curtain watching Triple H walk back to the ring. Did you have your, uh, did you have your Hulk outfit on at this point? <laughs> your no. Hulkster in heaven shirt? <laughs> no, but Sam had was proudly wearing a SummerSlam t-shirt. Oh. Well, I wasn't wearing it. I bought it. I don't wear the shirt to the event. Yeah, that's but. silly. Yeah, when that her. happens, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you and your two pretzels. What, did, you, did you call Dr. Smith and spit in his face before you did that? <laughs> <laughs> That's you not on the... diet book up and throw it out? <laughs> <laughs> That's not on the Fat Smash diet there, Iraq. That's what they're getting at. What was going through your mind when you walked up to that concession <laughs> stand and said, Ooh, those pretzels look good. I'll have a pretzel. Wait. I love his honesty. Wait, wait. He, he told us before break, F the diet. Yeah. Okay, what were you thinking? Let me have two. <laughs> I didn't have lunch that day, so I was kind of starving. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'll get two pretzels. And then I start running back. Oh, we know that part. I just want to know what's going on at the concession stand. Which what was, other? The concession uh, stand was directly next to our gate. Oh, really? Oh, that must have been handy. Yeah, yeah. Did you have other um, fine dining while you were there? No, that was it. That was it? Yeah. Hey, you got oh, okay. the, the sound effect, the, the fox thing? Oh, what? This one? This just in. Wrestling is fake. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Kevin, from Connecticut. Iraq e is a carb whore. Iraq, e anything else you? Uh, you want to talk about? Or uh, Sam made a made a friend at SummerSlam. Oh. He was uh, very chummy with this little uh, four or five year old heavy Hispanic kid dressed as Rey Mysterio. <laughs> yeah, he was flipping out the whole time, so I was trying to... <laughs> <You> creep. <laughs> Iraq, e though, also made a friend. He was sitting next to the guy who won uh, the WWE's biggest fan contest. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> he was sitting next to Iraq. E oh. And uh, this guy uh, was from California, I guess, yeah. and he happened to work in radio. Um, and Travis thought that I should bring to everyone's attention that I made the observation that it was uh, Bizarro e from the, from the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Bizarro e -Rock. But, so, I'm, I'm talking to the guy. He's telling me about the contest, how much money he won. So I tell him who I am, where I'm from. He heard the Friday show. He's like, yeah, about Mick Foley. Everyone was talking about it over the weekend at this fan fest thing uh, no, that they had in New York. Were. I go, oh, really? I grab Sam's arm. I'm like, this is the guy. So now the guy's talking over me trying to meet Sam. Can I ask why you'd ever admit <laughs> to that guy that you were in radio? Why, would, why wouldn't? As, as that you, guy were called, you trying to impress him? No. <laughs> yes. He yes. Only, he should have only seen the side of your face. Why would you so even Exactly why. Him? Why? He was talking to him oh, through the entrance in the main event and, and through the match and everything. He was talking. They were having a conversation. I'd rather talk to a little Mysterio kid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that kid ruled. <laughs> hey, have you given back the money to Dr. Ian Smith yet? No. Yeah. That's no, going to have to happen. I think that so. was going to All right. Pan out. We do have to take a break. Oh, damn. Come on. The big show announcement next, finally. There is, yeah. Come on. There's Enough a huge, teasing. huge, huge announcement, right? Yeah, biggie, biggie. A big announcement from one of the staff members. Yep. And uh, can we just do it next? Can we go into lockdown? Let's just lockdown mode. Lockdown. Where's the lockdown? I don't know. Let me find lockdown. Oh, I got it. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. that's not I'm lockdown. I'm sorry, Elo. I'm sorry. It said lockdown. Here it is. Oh, Elo, I'm sorry. 